A lot of people are home watching us or they're watching other news. Uh, yeah, well, our Dave McKinley yeah. went to an Amherst Republican Party gathering uh, of folks who are watching all these numbers very closely. Well, locally, some Republicans have gathered at Dandelion's restaurant in Amherst. We're with Bob Davis. He's the chairman of the Amherst Town Republican Committee, a former Erie County Republican chairman, and a long ago before that, Tonawanda. I have a picture right here on my phone I brought. That's, from, that's not me. Yeah, from 40 years ago. <laughs> yeah, 40 years ago. Yeah. yeah a little grayer. Yeah, you grayer were day. in 1984. You, this was a, a watch party for the uh, Reagan Mondale debate. Well, I actually 84. went to Dallas for the 84 National Convention, my first national convention, and Ronald Reagan got nominated for his second term. And then, as we all know, he won overwhelmingly was reelected for president. That was my, my first national convention. You shared with me an anecdote about a last minute voter. I'm sorry? You shared with me an anecdote about a last oh. minute voter. Yeah, I, I came in tonight uh, to meet, you know, our members of our Republican committee in Amherst, and uh, a lady with her husband were just leaving, having had dinner, and she saw my hat and she said, you must have voted for Trump. And I said, you're damn right I did. I said, did you? And she said, no, I didn't have time. And I said, well, you still have two and a half hours. So I said, where do you live? She gave me her address. I called the Erie County Board of Elections. I said, uh, can you tell me what uh, her polling place is? And uh, I put her on the phone with the Board of Elections. They told her it's the Clearfield uh, Library. And uh, I said, you need to go vote. She went and voted. I gave her my phone number. She texted me back and she said, I voted, took a picture uh, that she did vote. And uh, so we got another vote for Donald Trump tonight. Did Donald Trump do enough to win this election? Oh, I think he did. I mean, I think, you know, to the point that he made throughout the campaign and especially in the closing weekend, there's a movement out there. And it's not just locally, it's nationwide. And, you know, his his base vote is solid, 46, 48 percent. And it's that, you know, that two or three percent that he's going to need to get over the top tonight. But I do think he his message was strong. It was about the economy. It was about immigration. And those are the driving issues tonight, and I think they're going to prevail nationwide, and he will be reelected and be the 47th president of the United States. I looked around the room here where you are, and I'm going to say something, but I'm going to just ask you straight up, I don't see any young people here. Is that a problem for the Republicans? I think it is. And it, you know, I decided to take on this challenge to be the Amherst chairman, and one of my goals is to recruit more young people. I mean, you know, we're in a town where you got the University of Buffalo, you got Damon College, you got Erie Community College. There's a lot of young people that live in this town. And, you know, we need to, as a party, offer an alternative to the Democrats that run the town government here. It's an all republic or an all Democratic town board, and we got to make a difference next year. And I think that starts tonight. And yes, we do need to recruit more young people to get involved. You know, right now the taxes are very high in Amherst. They went up 11.4% last year. That makes it tough for a young person to buy a home in Amherst. And so, yeah, we need to get more young people involved. And I'm reaching out as we speak to get young people onto this committee and to get Republicans elected to town government next year. He mentioned the Democrats, and we'll be checking in at a watch party with local Democrats a little bit later on this evening. Scott and Mary Alice. Very right. good, Dave. Bob Davis. I know, it's good to see him. It's he been looks a, good. It's been a long time that he's been at it, so it's always interesting to hear his anecdotes from being at the political game all those he's years. He's been to a lot of them too, and yeah. 